Hi, I'm Lee Chantal from vivalavegan.net. Welcome to this week's question and answer, which is, how can I be vegan when it's against my cultural upbringing? I get asked this quite a bit actually, and this is a really important one. So I just thought I'd just go through a bit of the history of veganism for us a few places. And um, if, if you're not aware, most non-Western cultures, rice and beans are their staples. And these foods don't need refrigeration, they keep longer, and um, they're more affordable. Because most people still live on $2 a day, which is very surprising for a lot of us in Western culture. Um, meat and animal products, if people do consume these things, they're seen as like a special occasion thing and they're definitely not eaten all the time and they're definitely not eaten as a lot of Western people do as the main focal point of a meal and then just have some vegetables on the side. Vegetables, beans, rices, that's the main staples of a lot of people's diets in non-Western worlds. A lot of vegan and vegetarian food is still seen as pauper food because it is more affordable for a lot of people. So this is a bit of a stigma that we still need to address and we still need to move past. Um, because you, you see a lot of people when they get a bit more money or when they get more credit, which seems to be happening a lot more, that they tend to go out and buy a lot of animal products and a lot of animal flesh um, foods. And you can see the prevalence of fast food places popping up all over the world, which is really horrific. And um, I know when I was in Indonesia, a lot of people were quite shocked that there was this Western person who really wanted to find out about tofu, really wanted to find out about tempeh, because it's definitely pauper food. Um, unlike in Western cultures where a lot of people don't really use tempeh, maybe tofu, but they don't really like it that much. In Indonesia and some other Asian cultures, they use these foods quite often in most of their meals. Yeah, definitely they would add other things to it that wouldn't be vegan, but it's not as hard for them to add something new to a diet, you know, because they can just take out some of the things from the soups that they have and just keep it into a vegan soup. So there's a lot of ways that you can transform meals that people are used to already into a more vegan and cruelty free meal. Um, veganism is still seen by the majority of the world, no matter you know how much publicity and media we get that's positive, as too foreign. And it's seen as elitist and it's mostly for white middle class people. So until we get past this, that's always going to be a bit of an issue. And I guess, you know, you keep in mind the things that you promote on your blog or on your website or even just on your Facebook or Twitter or Google+. Plus. Um, if you're promoting things that are processed sort of vegan food that you have to pay $10 at the vegan grocery store to buy, these things are not realistic for the majority of people in the world to actually purchase. So just keep those things in mind when you're promoting foods and dishes and recipes online. A lot of religions already follow a vegan or a vegetarian diet, in particular Hindus, Buddhists and Jains. And mo um, most of these religions are really respectful of animal life and Islam views animals as part of God's creation. So you just have to tap into these ideas or in these passages in their scripture and find out, you know, find out the actual phrases or the parts of the scripture and just actually raise these things to people sometimes. I think it's all about education and just getting people to understand that connection between life and themselves and the universe and everything that exists on our planet. And some people will get this and some people will not. And that doesn't matter what culture they're from, it doesn't matter what religion they follow. You either get it or you don't. You're either willing to try something new or to evolve your sort of way of thinking about things, especially if you've just followed the mainstream most of your life. So um, it's just having a conversation in a non-judgmental and non-threatening way with other people to educate them and find out about what they're into as well. Find out about their culture, find out about their religion and their other beliefs, how they've been brought up by their family. Um, you know, do, do they do the cooking or do they have to eat whatever their grandmother or their mother makes all the time? You just have to find out these things. Instead of it being preaching at someone, you're just having a conversation and finding where all these things can actually lead to. 
And I guess it comes down to whether you do what you're told or you do what mainstream society tells you to do and to follow or whether you know what's right in your heart and your soul and you put that into practice. So you can follow your culture, you can follow your religion, you can follow whatever you like but you, and you can still not harm animals. So just do your research, find out more and live compassionately and peacefully as much as possible. We need more vegans and in particular we need more vegans to stand up and speak out about these sort of things and to stand up and say, hey, you know, I'm a vegan, I'm a Muslim or I'm a Jew or I'm whatever and um, they, you know, just say that they're proud of that and they're doing everything that they can, still following their religion, still following their cultural upbringing but they're still um, leading a compassionate lifestyle. Respecting all of the creatures in the universe is a really major thing for a lot of people to, to follow, whether it's as an atheist, whether it's a religious person, or whether it's a spiritual person, or whether you're just being a good person on this earth. Um, which, so as vegans and as just people upon our earth, we need to look after ourselves, each other, our universe, and all the creatures that inhabit it. So I hope that helped, and good luck with your journey. See you next week.